As the day began, police fired water cannons at protesters trying to block the streets. At least one protester and several police were injured. Thousands tried to stop delegates from attending the first conference of the far-right party since it won more than 90 seats in the German election. Because we are ashamed that the AFD was vo uh, voted, yeah. and um, we don't want them to be in our town and our congress hall. That there is a fight in Germany against racism and, net and, and, net and Nazis too. Because we know what racism, right opinions do to a land. And that's just uh, not good. Inside, the dispute was not with the leftist protesters, but within the party itself. A leadership battle between extreme nationalists and a more moderate arm of the AFD was locked in a stalemate, forcing parliamentary leader Alexander Gowland to step in and share power with current party head Jörg Meuthen. I think we can work together very well. I didn't intend to do this, you know that. I didn't want to run for chairmanship, but a situation came up which was, I don't want to say life-threatening for the party, but which was dangerous. The question now is whether the party can contain ideological differences and appeal to the wider electorate. All of this matters because Chancellor Angela Merkel is running out of options to form a coalition government. If Germany is forced to go back to the polls, the AFD could be strengthened further. But if she forms a central coalition with the Social Democrats as expected, the AFD will become the biggest opposition voice in Parliament. For Germany, this has consequences for our political rhetoric, for the way we debate uh, in public and for the, way, for the tone that AFD sets in social media especially. Once the bastion of stability in Europe, it's now a messy time in German politics. Ella Callan, Al Jazeera, Hanover.